the most famous German superfortress in existence. Many have tried to conquer its mighty walls, but almost nobody has managed to succeed. Will this mighty mega fortress manage to survive another day, or will this be the end of its legacy? Hey guys, it's your boy Daily Tactics here, and today I am back with some more World War II battles. This has been requested for a while that I go back to the old WW2, and today we're doing one of the most famous Men of War maps of all time. This map was originally created by the one and only Diplex Heated a absolute legend in the men of war community and uh it was recently recreated actually on the workshop someone went ahead and did a replica version of diplex's original map and that's what we're going to be using here today as you can see it is absolutely glorious look at this thing it's a beast very few Germans inside, but what they've got on the inside is intense. MG42s, they've got flak guns, they've got artillery, they've got anti-aircraft guns, they've got machine guns, they've got it all, baby, including a random Tiger tank right here at this entrance. So, what we're going to be doing uh, is having a massive U.S. Army approach this thing and try and take it over. Soldiers upon soldiers risking their lives to try and take over this third Reich position right here. It's going to be epic. Huge shout out to Diplex Heated for uh, creating the original one of these. Uh, I hope he doesn't mind if uh, I do it for my video as well here. He deserves all the credit. Go check him out if you haven't already. I'm sure many of you in the Men of War community know about him, but uh, he's an absolute legend. Shout out to Diplex Heated. Either way, without further ado, let's get this thing going here, baby. All right, gamers, here we go. Press and start right now, and... The U.S. forces should begin marching on forward. I have the tanks set to stall until the actual fight begins. That way, uh, they don't just blitzkrieg the fortress. That is not the American way, my friends. We we do have some Jumbos. We have Pershings. We have Sherman 76s. We've got really the works here for the American Army. Uh, and the infantry, of course, is approaching the fortress first and foremost right here waltzing on up no action quite yet from either side but it's only a matter of time before these guns start rattling off right here it is going to be absolute pandemonium all right we have our first shots being fired where at though all right it looks like these u.s paratroopers over here are the first victims of the super fortress firing out they're mobilizing a little bit luckily there's a little bit of cover here but pretty soon they're going to be entering into a minefield here's the german fortress firing away troopers inside the bunkers unleashing some heck upon the enemy also troopers up on the uh, ramparts here firing away too uh i don't know if these pack guns will actually target infantry they might load he shots and do it uh, who knows or they might just save for the uh the tanks that are going to be coming forward in no time here some bar troopers for the us actually firing out a little bit 50 cals hip firing firing from the hip not super realistic but hey they're doing it officer back here just uh you know viewing the battle from a distance not not that far away dude if you're gonna if you're gonna just check out with binoculars you might want to get a little bit farther back i mean you're you're still in the danger zone all right we've also got u.s medic up here with uh it looks like a springfield rifle taking cover behind a tank trap right there that's the problem is tanks are they're going to be able to come up to the wall here, but they're not going to be able to move much farther forward because of all of the tank traps. They're going to either have to blow them up or just act as artillery, essentially. That could be a good thing or a bad thing, actually, for the German fortress uh, here because either the tanks will uh, basically be ineffective as artillery or the Germans won't be able to shoot them and the uh, the tanks will be very effective as artillery who knows because of that sort of distance that they'll have uh, between the uh, pack guns and the the wall here either way another flanking force over here on the left for the US is taking some flat gun rounds from this uh, anti-aircraft guns the Germans have got also Nebelwerfer firing away a, a small silo of missiles right there not too many to start off with oh really bad shot right there by this 
Neville Verfa Trooper. They only got four shots off, and then they actually did a little bit of collateral damage right there, taking itself out. That's going to be a setback because that artillery piece is, of course, a very effective unit for the fortress to keep alive. U.S. troopers getting farther and farther in here. Many of their comrades dead or dying on the battlefield right now, but they are resistant. They will continue to come forward because that's the American way, baby. Come on, just unleash everything you got. Large artillery strike here from the Germans. That fat boy just barely missed, but still the splash damage manages to get a couple of American kills. Imagine if it had landed right there. Oh, it would have been absolutely brutal, but not today. Not today. Those Americans managed to live another day. My comrades, my brothers from, uh, what, 70 years ago now? 80 years ago? Crazy. Time flies. <laughs> it feels like just yesterday I was uh, reading the paper and, uh, oh, look, the old boys are getting counterattacked at the Bulge. That's what I thought to myself back in uh, 1945. All right, Nebelwerfer appears to be back up and running, unleashing some more heck upon the American units here. Um, only one of the operators managed to live through their uh, little <laughs> friendly fire incident. Uh, we'll, we'll call it an incident, even though it was just a catastrophe. Uh, but yeah, it still seems to be kicking. We do have a Pershing way out here getting bombarded by some fire. Uh, it does look like it does need repairs at this point. It has been tracked, uh, but it's still alive, so maybe it'll manage to do something. Large swaths of American infantry coming up on the right flank here. Love to see it. We're going to bump it up to two speed on the old speedometer here <laughs> and uh, watch the Americans charge on forward here. They're getting a little bit of fire out as they move. It's good to see that they're not just yeeting on forward, although maybe a full on yeet would be effective. Oh, and actually, the Americans have managed to kill a number of these Falsham Jaeger. Uh, troopers over here, including they've taken out the flat gun up top. That's a big win right there. Except there is still this mortar back here that hasn't even started firing, and once it does, I have a feeling it is going to be a price to pay for the Americans. This artillery piece also still nice and safe in its bunker. Flat guns up here also uh, managing to get some more fire out, and these things still alive. Actually, one of them we just witnessed go down before our very eyes, and more soldiers on these things dropping as the battle continues. This is Rob's Realism mod, so it it only takes a few shots to get kills. That is both a good thing and a bad thing for the Americans. Obviously, their infantry is going to fall a lot faster uh, because of it, but simultaneously, the Germans fall a lot faster because of it as well. These pack guns up here still managing to stay alive, though. These things are, of course, BEA beautiful units. Oh, but they're getting doused in some flames right now from American flamethrower units. Oh, that's big for the Americans right there, roasting and toasting the Wehrmacht inside. That is absolutely brutal. You hate to see it uh, for the German super fortress, but for the Americans, boys, we're looking good. The left flank is almost completely compromised here for the Germans. Also, a little bit of a pathway is starting to emerge in various positions uh, along these tank trap lines. Perhaps the American tanks can go around it, or they could just go all the way around. That would work as well. All right, but American infantry is deep on in here now, managing to push very far forward. Uh, still some artillery units trying to fire out. They're missing a lot of juicy opportunities. Like if they landed right here, that would be a lot of Americans down right away, but instead they keep missing. Also, incoming tank fire starting to hit this gun. Uh, it looks like the troopers inside still alive, but the gun itself could end up taking some damage here. You never know. The Americans are pressuring this fortress more and more as they go. Uh, this mortar still alive as well. Let's see. Is it firing out? Um, at all? Oh, yeah, it's reloading right now. It's actually already got 12 kills. Not bad. This thing's range isn't as good as the flat guns uh, or the artillery, so it is probably only recently starting to fire out, but hey, better late than never, baby. It's a bit more of a last-ditch artillery effort uh, with that mortar. Flat guns also remaining active up top, mainly attacking some of these jumbos and Sherman 76s back here, actually managing to land a few kills. Will this thing be able to just sort of pathway its way through here? It might just be able to cruise on through. Who knows? Well, only time will tell with that one. Uh, more shots being fired up at these walls, managing to take out more Germans up on the immediate ramparts there. This is tough. Americans starting to come through this gateway here. A flamethrower trooper dropping. He's the first one to 
basically step in the fortress here. He just barely made it over the wall line. So he took one step in before dying. Impressive, sir. Uh, there are, of course, Germans holding these gates as well. So, you know, this battle is far from done. Wait, actually, hold the phone. The Americans are actually able to sneak some shots right through here. They might even be able to move through here. That's a nice little flank, a little bit of a problem in the German super fortress here that the Americans are able to sort of exploit right now uh, and actually get some shots in on these Falschemjäger troopers. Some of them have STG-44s, some have MG-42s. They've got a wide swath of... Uh, armaments that they can use to defend here but it's not going to be uh mattering very much if they uh get compromised here they've also got an entrance over here with three mg42 troopers but that doesn't seem to be attacked quite yet uh additionally this staircase up here uh leads into the building but uh, these guys are getting crushed by these mg42 and mp40 Oh, as well as one car 98k trooper right there. Not too bad. There's also more troopers back there. Uh, and of course, up here. Th this, this fortress is far from over yet. Despite the Americans breaching the walls right now, uh, this is not a done deal. There's also still Nebelwerfers up here, but they might be out of ammo. No, they're not. This one's only gotten four kills, though. Is this one out of ammo? Uh, nope, it is not. It's only gotten eight kills. Okay, the Nebelwerfers have been a bit of a letdown, if we're being completely honest here. But hey... They're still kicking, so maybe they'll they'll uh, increase their uh, productivity here and actually make the uh, Vermax a little bit more proud, but as it stands right now, not so much. More American troopers attacking over this way. These Germans are having a tough time defending this tiny little choke point right here. You'd think it'd be really good, but the fact that the Americans are able to get crossfire in from over here is actually ruining this defensive position right here. Uh, the tank might be helping a little bit i'm not entirely sure does it have any kills it's got no kills it does not seem to be ha uh, helping at all despite it having an mg42 on the front i don't know why it's not really uh firing out too much is it on hold fire mode by any chance nope it is free to fire as it pleases but it just doesn't seem to want to very interesting more americans uh leading assaults down straight ahead oh nebelva for shots where are you targeting dude what is that that was trash i don't know what that was poo poo uh-oh German mortar up here does end up falling to the wayside. Not before it did get probably 20 or 30 kills. So that was not a bad defense from that thing at all. All right, let's go into normal speed here. Check out what ends up going down. These bunkers, of course, got cleared out long ago by the Americans. The Americans are sort of free to stand there. Uh, Americans bulging on through this way they are blocked by some debris right there so they're not going to be able to actually move their way through but they were able to kill all of the germans uh that they could basically get crossfire on right here which is making it so the americans around this flank will have an easier time making it on through here unless of course the tank starts doing something uh the mp40 troopers back here are basically left up to their own devices without backup from these guys up forward uh in taking out this choke point at this point all of the flat guns up here are down, some of them completely destroyed by the Americans, while this one has just been decrewed right there. So that's a bit of a loss for the Germans. Uh, additionally, this MG-42 trooper ended up dying right here. Um, there is still this railgun artillery piece. I don't... It looks like it's just facing a wall, so I don't know how that thing would even get shots off. So that might be just completely useless right there. I don't know why that exists. Uh, this flat gun's down up there. Actually, that's like a Pac-43, I think. Uh, the aircraft gun's down. Is this thing down? Yeah, this thing did end up inevitably going down. Um, so it's really probably going to be up to this Tiger tank and German infantry to hold out the Super Fortress at this point. Um, and we'll see if they manage to do it. They've got pretty good odds. I mean, they've got choke points set up here. If the Americans really pressure over here, which it seems like they are starting to get more troopers in this way, mainly medics, which is very bizarre. But more troopers coming in this way could be very, very helpful uh, in assisting with this assault. Why are you guys piling up over here? Oh, there is still a trooper on this pack 43. They could still uh, get kills with this, actually, technically. Does it need repairs, though? Yeah, the gun is damaged, so that trooper's not getting anything, man. That trooper's not doing nothing. Did this tank just fire? It did. It's got six kills. The Tiger tank did something, boys. Let's go. <laughs> More German fire over here as the Americans continue to pummel this part of the fortress right here. Some American soldiers actually coming in this way. A weird little place to come in through. There's nothing really here for you guys, but I guess this captain led his troopers in here so they could just kind of chill. But uh, even though he thought that would work, they're still getting targeted. All right, we're going to go ahead and squad up the Americans here. This is something we do towards the end of battles just to make it so that they uh, they work a little bit better together. Sometimes it results in some pretty good tactics being used. 
or it can result in suicide charges. So uh, it's really up to the AI on what they decide to do with this new squad formation that I am giving them. Uh, but, you know, it, it's up to them. They can do something great or they can do something terrible. All right. The American paratroopers over here can't seem to do anything against this tiger tank. Do they not have... Um, they, they do have dynamite. Yeah, they've got dynamite. They can take this thing out easy. Easy peasy, but... Instead, they're just kind of not? I don't know. Should I dynamite this thing? I mean, it seems unrealistic that they wouldn't dynamite it, considering every trooper here has dynamite. All right, I'm going to dynamite this thing, man. I don't care. I'm going to dynamite it, because this is unrealistic. You may say I am helping the Americans out, but I say no. <laughs> I say this is what they would do. So let's take this satchel charge. Just eat it right there. And you know what? If it makes you guys feel any better, I will give some benefits to the Germans as well. So that's the satchel charge going out on this tiger tank. Baba Booey. Uh, that should kill it. Yeah, that thing is down for the count now. Beautifully done. Um, now, uh, as for the German benefits, I will unleash this trooper from his uh, cannon right there. So he is now free to uh, move a bit. Okay, he's dead. Dang it. All right. Um, this thing is useless. So we'll, we'll unman this thing. And we'll use this trooper to defend as well. And we will put him on this barricade there. Uh, this trooper is free move mode. So we'll unfree move mode him. And we could put him right... I'm just trying to think of things that would actually help the Germans a little bit. We could put him right here. Uh, if he can make it there and set up, it would be big. Yeah, this will be effective right here. Yeah, there you go. All right, so we re-solidified the German defense a little bit here to try and help them out since I helped the Americans with the tank. But it was just stupid that the Americans wouldn't kill that tank despite it them literally surrounding it with satchel charges. It doesn't make sense. Uh, we do have one of the jumbos over here. It decided to uh, actually be big brain and go around. No other American tank did that. Uh, this um, Pershing over here is getting repaired, though. So there is that as well. More grenades going out right there. That's a big American grenade. Manages to get a couple of kills, actually. That'd be big to push up on. One paratrooper tries to, but he doesn't have the support he needs to make it happen. This is turning into an American graveyard over here. Ooh, 50 cal trooper. Oh, if he had set up, that would have been gnarly. But sadly, he did not. He did not at all. The American push is really starting to die down here on this German super fortress. Ooh, this actually gets tracked. Um, I think it's from the mines right here is what tracked it. That's weird. Very bizarre. Or it was the Nebelwürfe. I'm not entirely sure. All right, the battle really is winding down. There's very little going on now. So there's still a lot of Americans. Why don't we go ahead and push them into the fortress at this point? Uh, I won't do it tactically or anything like that. I will just simply plop them. Actually, all these guys are stuck in the walls, I think. So we'll move them out. Um, there you guys go. You guys are free now. All right. So we will move everyone into the fortress at this point. I won't do it tactically. So it's still up to them to actually, uh, you know, play the game and uh, make make things happen for themselves. But uh, it will just get the battle going again because we are at sort of a stall point And, you know, we like to make sure... Things are, things are moving. Things are moving and grooving here. We, we don't want to be stalling out at any point. So, uh, here we go. Moving the, moving the folks forward. Moving the old American boys on up. Moving on up, baby. Yeah, buddy. All right. So, we are moving the boys up. Let's see if this actually manages to do anything. Uh, it could result in a slaughter. It could result in an American victory. I really don't know where this thing is going to end up going. So... Uh, we got soldiers moving up here, first of all. A bit of an American charge. Let's go into normal speed. All right. Guys up top on the ramparts trying to fire down, but they get clapped, and therefore they cannot support the guys who are moving in further down below. This guy comes up and actually gets a nice shot off with his Springfield. Gets this guy in cover. He takes another shot. He goes into cover himself. I would maintain your dominance here, buddy. Pop back up. Kill that guy. Oh, he takes a shot. Oh, he keeps missing. Oh, what a failure. All right, big American push over here doesn't really result in too much. Doesn't seem like they're moving forward too much. Oh, there we go. A little bit of German fire coming in. Will the Americans clap back? Let's see. They're pushing up a little bit. Oh, they're cruising. Oh, they're getting up here. These guys around the bend here are actually firing out. Oh, one cheeky little grenade right there would solve this entire problem. All right, this BAR trooper coming halfway up. A couple of Germans over here have already died. 
there was a grenade thrown. It was just terrible. It was just absolute trash. Wow. Pretty bad, dude. And the Americans begin derping once again. All right, we're going to do one last final oorah charge here because at this point, they're just delaying the inevitable. You guys got to get in here, either grenade and fix this problem. I'm forcing them to make a decision or die trying. That's your two choices here, boys. You got two choices. I'm not just suicide charging them in. I am putting them into a position uh, where they might be able to get a dub ski. Someone did end up grenading right there. That's good. All right, here we go. Let's see here. The Americans. There we go. They are moving in. They are getting some shots off. Managing to kill a number of Germans over there, but it is a bit of a slaughter for themselves as well. This German blockade does go down, but not before taking out at least 10 troopers right there. These Germans up here in a bit of a firefight with the Americans on the ramp right now. Americans pushing upwards, but they are dying as they go. Not great for that airborne trooper or that officer right there. Also, these troopers firing out at these guys over here. MP40s, STG44s, and Car 98Ks in effect for this German blockade over here. They're managing to get a number of American kills. Oh, this guy's cruising on up here. Let's see if he manages to do anything with this. He's just kind of taking shots. He just kind of be doing that, though. He not really getting kills. Ah. Buddy. <laughs> Pathetic. Oh, my God. All right, Americanos. Come on. All right. One last charge. I keep saying that, but they keep on failing to, like, do anything. They, like, move forward, and then they don't do anything with their push. Come on, boys. Let's get this going. All right. More soldiers pushing up this ramp. All right. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Up and over. We've also got attackers over here. Oh, nice. Those Falschmjäger finally end up going down. These guys still derping. All right, you know what? Oh, okay. I understand why they're derping. You just got a grenade. That's it. That's all you got to do. Instead, they're straight derping. Come on, boys. Come on. Somebody. All right. Ooh, raw charge. If you're not going to grenade, I'm going to make you charge. That's the rule here. <laughs> That's the rule here. Go on up there. Come on, boys. Oh. Two more deaths. Ooh, someone's grenading over here. It was a bit of a miss. This guy did move out. Shoot him! Oh my god. Alright. Fine. I'll do it myself. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna satchel charge him. We're not just gonna grenade them. We're gonna blow them sky high. Oh, those guys actually shot him. One guy left, and he actually dies before the uh, satchel charge even goes off. So I guess that was completely unnecessary, but there we go. Satchel charge does go off right there. Um, Alright, so who's left for the Germans? There is a blockade of two machine gunners over here. Let's push in that way. And, of course, there is that Nebelwürfe left alive. All right, so the last two MG42s for the Germans over here. Oh, my God, just annihilating these Americans. Whoa! Totally wrecked. Holy cow. All right, let's see if we can't break this wall, maybe? Nah. What if we can repair that tank? That'd be big. There's still plenty of Americans left alive, to be honest. All right, why don't you guys go that way? There's still a number of airborne out here, too. Push on in that way. There's this guy out here. Push in that way. These guys repairing. We sure we can't break this wall? That would be huge. Imagine that. Be massive. All right. Let's see here. Take out your bazooka soldier. Move in. And. I missed. I missed. Oh, I can't move. Okay. Ooh. There we go. The BAR trooper took care of him. All right, go eliminate this last Nebelwürfe soldier up here. Come on, boys. Move it on up. Move it on up. All right, I did speed up the process of the end of this battle a little bit because it would be another 20 minutes of us sitting here if I had let the AI just go nuts with their derpiness. Um, so I decided, you know what? We're going to do it. Okay, these guys aren't even heading up here. What the heck? Do we need to satchel charge this thing? Ah, oh, there we go. We got him. All right, that's the end of the German Super Fortress there. The Americans needed a little help, and even with that little bit of help, they only have, like, ten soldiers left alive and two tanks after starting with hundreds. Let's check out the losses here. Yellow are dead uh, Americans. Red are dead Germans. Americans took a heavy toll this day, my friend. A heavy toll. Like, hundreds of them dead. Wow. 
intense. This truly is a super fortress. Shout out to uh, Diplex Heated for making the original of this. Shout out to the guy who recreated it in the Mem of War workshop. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that like button. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.